What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the beginner guitar tutorial for Snap by Rosalyn. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And the guitar that we're jamming on today is called the PRS SEP20E. PRS is actually a guitar goddess and I have a channel sponsored this month. They sent us these really groovy parlor guitars to check out. We've just been loving them so far. So I'm gonna have this PRS SEP20E as well as all of PRS's other acoustic guitars linked down in the description below for you all to check out. The first thing that you wanna know to play Snap on guitar is that we're gonna be in standard tuning and we will not need a capo to play this. Song. The next thing that you want to know to play snap on guitar is the structure of this song. We'll start with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then we're going to go verse, chorus, we'll have a short bridge, and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into snap is the five chords that you need to play this song. The first one is A minor, the next one is C, the next one is C over B, the next one is G, and the last one is F. I love a beginner way to play that F chord as well as short chord tutorials for all the other chords. Link down in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, let's dive into snap. The first thing we're gonna take a look at for snap is what we're playing for our verses, which is that groovy finger picking pattern that you hear as soon as the song starts up and then in all the other verses of the song. So this is a lot easier to play than it sounds. We just have a simple chord progression and a simple picking pattern to go along with it. Our chord progression is gonna be A minor, F, C, and C over B. And you notice that some of those chords have stars next to them, the F and the C over B. That's because we're gonna be playing something a little bit different for our picking pattern on those as we are the non-starred chords. We'll get there in just a second though. First, let's take a look at the picking pattern that we're gonna be using for those chords. And before we dive into that picking pattern, you need to know what bass notes are. If you don't know what bass notes are, it's just the lowest note of whatever chord you're playing. For all of the chords in the verse chord progression, except for the F, that's gonna be on the A string. And then for the F, that's gonna be on the low E string. So keep that in mind, bass notes are important for this picking pattern. So starting here with our A minor as our example, our picking pattern is gonna be bass note, D, bass note, B, a certain amount of times depending on which chord we're on. So for all of our non-starred chords, we're gonna play through that picking pattern three times. And then for our starred chords, we're gonna be playing through that picking pattern once. So let's walk through that together. Starting here with our A minor, what we're gonna do for our A minor is we're gonna pick A, D, A, B, three times. Pretty quick, it'll sound kind of like this. Just about like that. Then we're onto our F chord. Our F chord is one of our starred chords, so we're only gonna pick through the picking pattern once for that. So that one's gonna be low E, D, low E, B. Just once, quickly. Just about like that. Then we're onto our C chord picking pattern, which our C chord is gonna be the same picking pattern we used for our A minor chord. So we're gonna have A, D, A, B, three times really quickly. Just about like that. Then we go to that last C over B there. That's a starred chord, so we play once through the picking pattern. We're gonna be using that same picking pattern we used for the A minor and the C. So A, D, A, B, just once quickly just like that. And that picking pattern right there is gonna repeat through all of our verses. So it may seem a little bit intimidating, but it's actually a pretty beginner friendly picking pattern. And then that chord progression is pretty beginner friendly as well. Other than the fact that there's an F chord in there, if you're a beginner, that F chord might be tricky. But again, I do have a beginner way to play that in the pinned comment if you need it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna play through this picking pattern once very slowly without me talking so that you can make sure you have all the right stuff in all the right places. Then I'll play through it a couple times full speed so that you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly first through the picking pattern that we're gonna be repeating through the verses on Snap will look about like this without me talking. And a couple of times full speed through the verse picking pattern we'll be using for snap will look about like this without me talking. there we're in 
notes being played for our pre-chorus and our bridge. This is just going to be a short two chord progression and the strum pattern's a little bit funky on it, but I'll explain how it works. So our chord progression for our pre-chorus and bridge is just going to be F and G. Now what we're going to be doing for strum pattern on this is a little bit interesting. So we're going to start here with this F chord. For this F chord, we're going to combine those two strum patterns, the one that's outside the parentheses and the one that's inside the parentheses. It's going to kind of sound like this. We're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, just about like that. And then we go to that G chord and we're going to use just what's outside of the parentheses. Down, down, up, down, up, down. We're going to let that last down strum hang out for the pre-chorus and then that's going to take us into our chorus. Now we only have one pre-chorus in this song. So what we're gonna be doing for our bridge is actually gonna be the same chord progression and the same strum pattern, but we're gonna just combine those two strum patterns right there for both of the chords in the bridge. And I believe that repeats twice if I remember correctly. So pre-chorus will look like this, starting with our F chord, we've got down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, up, down. And that's the whole pre-chorus. And then when we're playing through the bridge, the bridge is gonna be like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I believe that repeats two times for the bridge. So nothing too crazy, just kind of a little bit to remember, just to remember what part of the song you're on, but pretty straightforward. Two chord progression, and then a little bit of an interesting two strum pattern situation. So I'm gonna play through the pre-chorus once, which is just that two chord progression one time through with that strum pattern situation. And I'm gonna play through a couple times through that bridge progression as well, just so you guys can see the difference. But remember, it's pretty much the same thing. The pre-chorus one just gets cut a little bit short, and then the bridge just plays through that whole thing two times. So with that in mind, guys, a couple times, through that pre-chorus and bridge chord progression strum pattern for snap will look about like this without me talking. And finally, that's gonna bring us into what's being played for our choruses on Snap. And this is, in my opinion, the easiest part of the song because we just have a simple chord progression and two simple strum patterns to go along with it. So for our choruses, our chord progression is gonna be A minor, F, C. Then we're gonna have C again, and then C over B. And you notice that those last two chords have a star next to them. We're playing those for a half measure, or half as long as the other chords. That'll make a little bit more sense whenever we get to the strum pattern here in just a second. So for our strum pattern, what we're gonna be doing, using our A minor as our example here, we're gonna play down, down, up, twice for the non-starred chords, and then once for the starred chords. So walking through our chord progression, starting with our A minor, we're gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, then to F, down, down, up, down, down, up, then to C, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then we're onto that first starred chord, that first C. We're gonna play that C for one extra time for that starred one. We go down, down, up, and then we go to that C over B. We're gonna do down, down, up once on that one as well. Down, down, up, just about like that. So two times through the strum pattern on those first three chords, one time through the strum pattern on the last two chords. Nothing too crazy here, very simple chord progression, very simple strum pattern. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through that chorus that we're gonna be playing for Snap will look about like this without me talking. Guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Snap on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 950 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. And I usually try to post at least two to three new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you wanna see other cool guitar-related content or just what I'm up to in between videos. And guys, one more big shout out to PRS. Thank you all so much for being this month's channel sponsor and sending out these
these awesome parlor guitars. Like I said, we've just been loving them so far. They're a parlor guitar, so they're about the size of like a three quarter size guitar. But what's great about these is that even though they're a little bit of a smaller body guitar, they still have a really big sound. It really fills the room. And then you can't beat PRS in the looks department. I've been playing the tobacco sunburst one and then Michelle actually has the vintage mahogany one that she's been using a lot. And oh my gosh, PRS's inlays are just like my favorite inlays on any guitar ever. I just love them. They're beautiful. They're iconic. You know, it's a PRS as soon as you see it. And it's awesome seeing on an acoustic guitar, especially kind of a mid-range acoustic guitar like this, them having these really beautiful bird inlays. So anyways, like I said, guys, I'm going to have this P20E as well as all PRS's other acoustic guitars linked down in the description below for y'all to check out. Guys, Snap is a beautiful song. I'm really stoked to share this one with y'all. It's a great one for beginners because it's mostly beginner friendly chord progressions with beginner friendly picking and strum patterns to go along with it. The most challenging parts of this song are going to be that F chord for the beginners. Again, I will have a beginner way to play that F chord in the pinned comment if you need it. And then just kind of remembering what goes where because there are kind of a lot of moving parts in this song. But other than that, it's just a simple, beautiful song very acoustic driven, which I love seeing acoustic driven songs and this day where you don't see that quite as much in kind of modern pop music. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun learning Snap. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.